Okay, so after you prepare your paper by soaking it for the light field process, the next thing that I'd like you to do is go ahead and trace your plate in your sketchbook. By tracing the perimeter, you're able to plan for a sketch um, for your piece. And so you'll know the plates, they're plexiglass, so they're fairly clear, minus some stains. And you can just put this right in your sketchbooks and trace the perimeter, and then you can plan. And then when you actually go to paint, you can, for the most part, see through the plate and just use your sketch right beneath it uh, while you're painting. So that's just something kind of nice to know. You can even sketch it twice if you'd like to, at least for these small ones. After you have traced around the perimeter of your plate to give you a place to plan, the next thing that I'd like you to do is coat your plate with some monotype base. So to do that, I'm gonna remove my sketchbook to the side I'm just going to put down a piece of scrap paper and put my plate on top of it. I'm going to go ahead and squirt some of the base, a little shape here, onto this spreader plate. And then I'm going to take my brayer and just kind of use this to coat the um, plate. So, I mean, you could also paint this on. I just find rolling it on with a brayer is maybe a little quicker. Um, but this is an important step. If you forget this step, what happens is the ink doesn't release onto the paper very well. Um, and you might be a little disappointed with how your image turns out. Um, just keep in mind that a lot of this process, while I'm kind of showing you these like steps, a lot of it is spontaneous and you can experiment with a lot of it. And um, what you expect might not always be what comes out of this process. But before we apply any ink to this, I think I recommend letting the base dry. So if you coat it, before you plan, that gives you time to plan while you're waiting for this to dry. And then um, if you end up in a situation where you have a plan and you want to um, print it right away, you would just blow dry this before adding the ink onto it. So that's also an option. We can always speed up the drying process as well. Okay, in this next video, I'm going to show you how to prepare your inks. So what I recommend doing is getting a plate out of the painting cabinet. And then I use watercolor brushes for the monotype inks. So I would have an assortment of brushes ready. Um, make sure that you have a container of water to rinse things out, some paper towels in case you need to dab or clean off a brush. And then as far as the inks go, you wanna squirt a little bit of each color that you want out on your plate. And then also squirt a little bit of the monotype base in each color as well. I like using a plate because it allows me to mix inks in the middle. I am not a big fan of when artists use colors straight out of the bottle. I think it's more sophisticated when you use um, mixed colors, colors that you've mixed um, by observing a color or colors that you've mixed um, specifically to go along with a particular color scheme that you have in mind or that you're borrowing from something. Okay, so I did sketch out a little um, hair um, for my uh, monotype. So I am doing something representational in this particular monotype, um, but you could do something abstract as well. And so for my pair, I'm gonna squirt, squirt out some um, blue, some yellow. I'm gonna put um, a little bit of green down there. I'm also going to um, have a little bit of orange for the uh, background and have some um, warm tones in there. Okay, and I might do a little purple as well. Okay, so I'm gonna just take a break, uh, set up my palette, and then I'll come back and show you how to apply the ink to the plate. Okay, so now that my inks are prepared, I'm gonna quickly just blow dry my plate just to make sure that it is dry and that that monotype base that I put on the plate so that way the inks will release onto the paper is completely dry before I put more ink um, onto the plate. Or well, before I put the ink onto the plate. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna take my plate, I'm gonna go ahead and put it over top of my sketch, and then I'm going to take my inks and I'm going to go ahead and start painting my image.